25 years ago, the Tajik capital was a battlefield as pro-government forces recaptured the city from rebels. It was the high point of a civil war that claimed up to 100,000 lives and displaced 1.2 million people. The violence began in May 1992. Islamists had demanded the resignation of Tajikistan's communist president. He resigned at gunpoint. Ministers and legislators fled the capital and met in Khujan, northern Tajikistan, where a new leader appeared, Emomali Rachmanov. The former collective farm manager was soon made head of the government. The conflict became an insurgency. Around 25,000 Russian troops backed Rachmanov. The casualties mounted amid reports of atrocities by both pro-government militias and insurgents. Many victims were non-combatants. <laughs> In 1994, Dushanbe was rocked by explosions. During a vote boycotted by the opposition, Rachmanov became Tajik president with a new constitution to cement his power amid claims of fraud and voter intimidation. Russia mediated an agreement on a reconciliation commission. Peace deal the following year gave the opposition a share in power. Rachmanov renamed himself Rahmon in 2007, removing the Russian style ending and he outlawed the only opposition party in 2015. Its power was now supreme.